business and we used to have meetings and do PowerPoints and stuff. And when I got into the real world, I just really wanted to have these, I had these huge goals for myself and I was only in third year university and this is like years ago. So I started to learn from the best. I learned from one of the best top salesperson in the industry and he literally mentored me throughout the whole thing. And I didn't know at the time, I was like, wow, this is literally what I was getting. But I learned, I researched, I, I, I literally absorbed everything. And having their support as well as even the support in my PR lifestyle as well, when I had one of my directors, you know, really helping me out and I was able to be a director of communications in a, for Fashion Week, all of those things happened to me because I was able to have some mentor that helped me out along the way. When you have such a big goal, it's important to have someone who's already done it, who has experience in it, proven experience in it, and also someone who knows what they're talking about and can align with you in various ways. But most importantly, in order for you to even establish the sense of a need of a mentor, if you're asking yourself, hey, I've been struggling, I wish I could succeed a little bit more, I wish I had someone to ask questions of or you know, bounce ideas off of, then your intuition is telling you, hey, you need a mentor. So having a mentor really comes with your intuition. If you feel like you need more help, it might be the exact same help that you're looking for. And let me tell you, it is the best help I got. So your intuition is telling you that's the first reason why you need a mentor in 2020. I've already talked about this before, but in order for you to succeed in anything, you need to learn from the best. You need to learn from someone who already did it. You, re you really need to know from someone who knows what they're talking about. And um, I like to do when I was looking for a mentor is like I went into networking events stuff like that I even researched on social media and figured out who is someone that aligned with me or someone who had experience um, and that really helped me out and notice that you want an expert you don't want someone who's just pretty broad um, and that's one of the things about a mentor too is like a mentor is an advisory person it's someone that you can work with a team almost your best friend that tells you tough love too. someone who's going to tell you you know what, what you're doing wrong what you're doing right what you need to work on and it's someone that's going to really help you be balanced balanced in the way of all parts of your life um so again learn from the person who already did it who's already at the place where you want to go who's already shown everything who you want to embody best way of doing is being around that person so that's the second reason why you should have a mentor in 2020. Okay, so this one's a little bit weird, but I'm gonna explain why. You are looking for someone to help you out, not talk you down. The amount of times I've had people that I've chatted with and they're interested in mentoring, and the first thing they say is, oh my gosh, I had an experience similar to this, and the person completely talked me down. A mentor is there to help you and give you support. They're not there to jam you in and tell you what you're doing wrong and push you in the wrong way. If your mentor is a right mentor, they will get to know you. They will get to know what works best for you. Some of the people that I mentor, pushing works well. Other people, that gets them anxiety. I'm not gonna push you and say, you need to get this done. Um, or we're going to talk about this by the next few weeks that we chat together and touch base if I know that it's not going to work for you. So really understanding that someone who's going to work with you, someone who's going to understand your limits, someone who's going to understand what works best for you and at least invest in what works best for you. Because again, that's what you need to find. You need to find that balance. You need to find that person who's willing to do that. And I see this all the time. It is so, so important. I can't stress it enough. It's so crucial in order for you to find the right fit and um, to find someone who best balances you and who you are. So make sure that that person isn't talking you down. I've heard people, and I'm actually gonna do a video on difference between a mentor and a coach because I get that question too. A lot of people are like, what's a mentor, what's a coach? So um, I'm gonna go into what a mentor is, what a coach is, I'm a mentor, I'm not a coach. And I do find that like from experience of people talking to me, they've said that coaches are a little bit more pushy. Again, it depends on what you're looking for. Um, and it also depends on what you're looking for long-term, short-term. Mentor is more of a relationship experience, I think, for me um, and what I've heard from other people. So again, find someone who's not gonna talk you down, someone who's gonna work with you, tell you what you need to work on, but also tell about the opportunities and the things that you're doing well at. So it can help you with your esteem and um, just really help you grow as a person, both in your career, personally, mentally, physically, whatever way that you personally are looking for that support. 
The next tip, um, second last tip, is gain support professionally and personally. I can't stress enough, having a mentor isn't only someone that you talk about your business goals of how to get you know, your sales for your clients or whatever it is. It's also someone that if you're having a rough week, you can talk to. You can tell them that, hey, I wasn't able to get this done because my child was sick or I was super anxious last week, excuse me, and I was really depressed and this is how I feel. If you aren't comfortable talking to your mentor about that, that might be something to consider. Um, so gaining that support personally and professionally is definitely something that you get in a mentoring session. And for me, one of the things that I like to do with a lot of people and that works, that, that seems to work well with a lot of people is I always say like, how are you feeling before we even get into anything? And I want to make sure that you're, you're at your most because if your lifestyle right now is very stressful most likely you're not gonna be able to succeed professionally. You need to be balanced. So again, a mentor is advising you in all balances of your life. And a proper mentor is gonna understand what you need personally in your support and in your professional support and mental support. And they're gonna help and guide you based on their experience in the best ways that they can talk on. That's another thing too. A mentor will be honest and tell you what they have experience in and what they can talk on and what are, what they can't talk on. Sorry, I like totally hit you guys there. Talk on and what you can't talk on. So that's just something to really consider. Um, so passionate about this because mentoring really just really it, it's it's I've seen it change a lot of people's lives I've seen it grown people and I think people don't really understand what a mentor is um they think it's just coaching and for me I think it's a very different it's it's really just a, a long-term relationship with someone who's helping you grow over a period of time in all aspects of your life that you are looking for and you decide what your priorities are you write down what are you looking for in a mentor and find that person because as much as a mentor chooses to work with you it is just a choice for you to choose a mentor. So keep that in mind. The last thing is it speeds up your processes by having someone that can help you out. If you have a goal that you want to achieve in a certain period of time and then you also have something else that you want to achieve on a long-term basis, that mentor is going to help you break it down. I find with coaches it's more strategical a little bit and I don't want to go too much into it because I'm actually going to do a video with you guys separately. Maybe I'll link it here once, once it's uploaded on um, how to basically mentor or basically how to um, do the difference between I'm like totally blanking out, but what's the difference between coach and a mentor? So a coach and a mentor are very different in field of choice. And I think with the mentor here is helping you set goals that will allow you to attain long-term results and also allow you to gain, again, support, advice, consulting kind of support in a sense. Um, that's where a mentor will help you out. And a mentor is also someone that will, you know, really want to develop that with you. And again, speeding up the process with a mentor is someone, if they already know what they've done it, if they've done it before, like I mentioned, if they've um, had experience in it, if they know who you are, if they're comfortable with you, if they're willing to help you support you, you're going to get to those goals so much quicker. I remember when I first started doing, you know, mentoring and everything, it was probably like, um, two weeks within two, I gave my resignation in five, in, in sorry, in three weeks. And then by this first week, I got three clients. And by the fourth week, I had five. So I was already like, okay, well, obviously, I went with my intuition, but it wasn't because of only that, but because I had a couple mentors in my life that was supporting me that was giving me advice on what I should do and help me helping me out. Um, so I'm a huge believer in 2020, honestly, guys, in order for you to be successful, you need to invest in yourself, knowledge in support in really getting a trainer. Think of it like when you're writing, running a marathon, people don't run a marathon and win in one night. That's not how it works. You practice, you have someone who takes you out of bed at 5am runs five times, four times every day a week. And that day that you win that marathon or you don't or whatever it is, or you pass your time from last time, whatever it is, that is a point of success. And it's not even the point that you've won. It's the point that you've gone through all of this control and change and growth through yourself over the course of the last six months. And that is what allows you to emotionally awaken 
that's like almost like a spiritual awakening essentially you're growing within yourself you're getting more grounded with yourself and that is essentially what a mentor does so i hope those little tips allows you and inspires you guys to get a mentor i do do mentoring for wellness um, I'm a Reiki practitioner, so I do specifically wellness. I also do social media mentoring for those who are in content creation, also those who are in um, branding or have a personal brand. So if you are interested in that, please let me know. I do a little session where you get 30 minutes free with me. I want to make sure that you are ready to be um, mentored. First of all, that is one of the biggest things. I don't want to just sign up anyone. So please sign up down below. I would love to help you get you started on your 2020 and help you just really achieve those goals you want and help you grow and develop. Um, I've been in social media for many years. I've but it have huge with gifts on my spirituality and wellness and i will share that with you guys in a way that connects with both of you and me and you um but whatever way it is i do want to help you guys out so that is the video thank you so much for watching make sure you give this video a thumbs up subscribe and put the notification bell so you don't miss a video and i'll see you guys in the next video sending you a lot of love a lot of light positivity and uh go get a mentor talk to you guys soon bye